Discussions on India have typically focused on economic growth. However, this growth has coincided with the rise of Hindu nationalism. This Hindu nationalism has intensified with the arrival of the BJP into national office, the rise of Rashtriya Swayamsevak Sangh with Hindutva and saffronization agendas, the use of violence and structural othering to gain power, and the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic. The targets have been Christians, Sikhs, lower caste Hindus, and in particular, Muslims. Unfortunately, until recently, there was no scholarly examination of the increase of Islamophobia in India. As a result, activists and advocates were often left to speak of individual incidents, rendering them incapable of addressing the wider issue, its underlying causes, harmful impacts, and potential remedies. So, a team of researchers at UC Berkeley examined this phenomenon. They found that it starts at the top. BJP leaders have been implicated in communal violence and hate, have silenced dissent through an aggressive form of McCarthyism, stymied reports on forms of hate, and in 2017 and 2018, at least seven journalists were murdered for reporting on the rise of Hindu nationalism in India. Strategically, the proponents of Hindu nationalism have emphasized demography and the numerical strength of the Hindu population, which has manifested in anti-conversion laws aimed at Hindus and Sikhs, garvapsi or reconversion programs aimed at Christians and Muslims, and propaganda against love jihad, a reported conspiracy which claims that Muslim men are aggressively converting vulnerable Hindu women to Islam through trickery and marriage. All these measures restrict the ability for Hindus to convert to other religions while simultaneously advancing and encouraging the conversion of other religious groups to Hinduism. Moreover, this Islamophobia has been spatialized in a variety of ways, including vandalism of Muslim sites, disputes and contentions over land, spying on Muslim communities, and the distribution of anti-Muslim propaganda to invoke fear and exclusion. The impact of these tactics has been the ghettoization of Muslims, limits on the ability for Muslims to access socioeconomic opportunities, increased housing insecurity, and an intensified geographical division of Muslims from the Hindu majority in an increasingly Islamophobic national space. Finally, this Hindu nationalism is also manifested through legislation, in particular, related to India's beef. Beef bans and cow legislation have bifurcated segments of society, they unjustly target Muslims and Dalits, for whom beef is a religiously lawful meat, an inexpensive form of protein, and a source of livelihood. Their passage drives attacks upon Muslims and Dalits by emboldening people to take the law into their own hands, enacting extrajudicious violence. In order to address these issues, activists and advocates will need to mobilize support. International civil society can urge India to boost human rights and religious freedom standards, particularly in areas with a history of communal violence, demand that state and central police implement effective measures to prohibit and punish cases of religious violence, and monitor politically stoked violence and document how it impacts India's diverse religious minorities. Meanwhile, the government in India can take prompt and effective legal action against individuals and groups responsible for perpetrating violence against minorities, compensate and rehabilitate Muslim victims and their neighborhoods for the damages associated with vigilantism and violence, provide legal freedom for all individuals to practice all religions, or marry individuals from the religion of choice, urge states that have adopted discriminatory beef legislation to repeal them, and ensure that cow protection does not come at the cost of human lives, curb the activities of groups such as cow protection and anti-love jihad units, introduce comprehensive anti-discrimination legislation, which includes protections against intersectional discrimination and enables Muslims to access socioeconomic opportunities, and provide oversight of law enforcement against corruption and abuse, and protect against extrajudicial killing by police. Just like the plague in the 14th century was used to intensify anti-Semitic attacks against Jews in Europe, India's Hindu nationalists 
are using the coronavirus to target, demonize, and commit violence against the Muslim minority in the country. Action is needed to make India safe for all its diverse populations. For more information, read the research report online.